My name is Pat Rogers, and I'm a lecturer in the Department of Polymer Mechanical and Design in AIT. And I'm here today to talk to you about mechanical engineering in AIT, uh, specifically the higher cert in mechanical engineering, the Bachelor of Engineering Common Entry, and the Bachelor of Engineering in Mechanical Engineering. So what's mechanical engineering all about? So mechanical engineering, it's about putting ideas into action. It's about inventing, designing, developing, manufacturing and maintaining products, equipment and machinery of all kinds. Mechanical engineers use their knowledge of design, analysis, manufacture and maintain mechanical systems. So basically anything that has got moving parts, uh, products or machines, a mechanical engineer is most likely involved in the design and maintenance of, the, of these pieces of equipment. So we're going to look at um, three different programs. We're going to look at the higher cert in mechanical engineering with the CEO code AL602. Uh, the 2020 uh, points for that course was um, 258. We're going to look at the Bachelor of Engineering in Mechanical Engineering, AL710. And the two, sorry, the 2020 CAO points for that was uh, 242. And we're also going to look at the uh, Bachelor of Engineering in Engineering Common Entry uh, or Common Year. So the code for that, the CEO code for that is AL713. And the points last year was 231. Um, the Bachelor of Engineering Common Year. Okay, so if you if you select that program, then after the first year, you, you need to make a decision. Uh, so from there, you can progress in year two. You can progress into the Bachelor of Engineering in Mechanical Engineering. You can progress into the Bachelor of Engineering. Uh, and renewable energy, or you could progress into the Bachelor of Engineering in Automation and Robotics. So after that first year, you, you need to decide what way you want to go. Uh, the entry requirements for, for these programs are, uh, you got a grade uh, six at ordinary level in five subjects in the Leaving Cert examination. Two of these subjects must be mathematics and a language, either English or Irish. You can also go through the QQI route. Uh, any QQI level five qualification is acceptable. Uh, applicants uh, to the program are required, however, to have one specific mathematical mo module uh, included in their award module in mathematics, or maths for IT, or maths for STEM or alternatively, leaving cert maths. <clears throat> so what, what do you study when, when you get into these programs here? So the first year will, will be the same uh, for all those uh, courses that I mentioned there. So in first year, you would study engineering science, mechanics, materials and processes, engineering workshop drawing and CAD, communications and computer applications, and mathematics. In year two, you'll study instrumentation, mechanics, energy systems and thermal fluids, engineering practice and CAD, materials, control and power technology, processes and operations management, process technology and design, and mathematics. In year three, uh, if you progress or if you decide to do the BEng at level seven, you, in year three, you will do a final year project, which I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about later. You will study statistical process, evaluation and control, control and automation, mechanical systems design, engineering systems and thermal fluids, quality and project management, mathematics, systems design and vibrations, manufacturing systems and organizational management, and mathematics. Okay. Uh, 
The engineering uh, education in AIT is very practical. Uh, almost 50% of the time you will spend in the state-of-the-art labs, laboratories, uh, developing your practical engineering skills. And the other 50% uh, is spent on engineering theory and applications. So I put together a, a little a few videos here of um, some of the uh, labs and some of the projects that have been done here over the last number of years. So this is our mechanical workshop and uh, this is one of our lathes. So very early on in first year we have students uh, machining. So this is an example of um, some mild steel being, being turned on on a, on a lathe. Uh, this is our workshop again. Uh, this is an example of uh, a piece of uh, aluminium being uh, machined on a milling machine. So again, this is all happens for first year engineering students within the first uh, number of weeks, uh, we get them on the machines. This is an example of a project. Um, it's a pick and place unit. Uh, all the components are built by the students, except for the motors. Uh, all the mechanism, all the moving parts are designed and manufactured by the students. This is another example of a pick and place unit. Again, all the non-standard parts are manufactured by the students. And if you notice the, the gripper there is actually 3D printed. So we've got some, a number of 3D printers here in the college as well. So the students build their own PCBs there to control the mechanism. This is second year. These are second year engineering students. This is a third year uh, engineering project. Okay, so this is the final year project. This was completed over a full academic year. This student is monitoring the CO2 levels in a small greenhouse and the fans are activated depending on the level of CO2 within the greenhouse, so it controls the CO2 level. This is an example of some CAD work that students do in the first year. Um, the students actually design their own version of this, design and build their own version of this. And it's very rewarding to see these designs come into fruition. This is an example of uh, four axis simultaneous CNC machining. So this use, uses our Herco CNC machine and it's used in conjunction with a CAM program called Solid CAM in which color paths are generated um, to control the CNC machine. A very, very powerful tool uh, for use in manufacturing. So that's just an example of a few of the, the uh, projects and activities that go on within engineering. There are many, many more. Uh, the courses here are accredited by Engineers Ireland. So if you complete the higher cert in mechanical engineering, you're eligible to apply to Engineers Ireland for the use of the registered professional title of engineering technician. The Bachelor of Engineering in Mechanical Engineering uh, is also accredited and you can apply for the professional title of Associate Engineer. And the, the Bachelor of Engineering Common Entry has the same accreditation. So students who complete that program can apply for the professional title of associate engineer. Um, 
within the uh, framework of uh, the courses, you can always progress on to further, further study. So having completed the level six, uh, the higher search, you can progress on to the level seven. And following on from the level seven, you can progress on to level eight. And you can even progress on further. So you could progress on to masters and even PhD level here at JIT. Uh, the careers available to uh, engineering graduates of AIT are, are wide and varied, but some, and I would say only some uh, of these uh, careers could be mechanical engineering graduates could expect to find employment as mechanical technicians, manufacturing pro or process technicians, uh, project development technicians or quality assurance technicians. Level, say, level seven mechanical engineering graduate may expect to find employment in products, product and product design or process design, manufacturing, medical device engineering, facilities engineering, maintenance engineering, and energy systems, and many, many more. Uh, mechanical engineering graduates are very uh, well sought after. So that concludes my very short presentation. I hope it provided you with some insight into the courses available here and the mechanical engineering courses available here in AIT. Thank you for listening.